Gaming Bolt presents 15 video game bosses you cannot kill no matter what you do. We've covered a lot of kinds of bosses lately. Disgusting bosses, anticlimactic bosses, bosses that keep coming back for more. You get the drift. However, there's a special kind of boss that warrants attention for their inability to die, at least legitimately and in certain parts of certain games. So, while they may be invulnerable in one fight, you can probably best them later. For other situations though, let's look at 15 video game bosses that you can't kill, no matter what. Warning, the word impossible and variations of it are repeated a lot. Fortune, first battle, Metal Gear Solid 2. It's not like Lady Luck, Fortune is the toughest boss to kill in Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. She possesses a portable railgun that can rip you apart easily, but damaging her initially is impossible because bullets simply don't hit her. Chalk this up to an electromagnetic device on her person that can deflect bullets and even disable nearby explosives. Whatever the case may be, just don't waste your bullets in the early going. Yellow Squadron, first battle, Ace Combat 4. In Ace Combat 4 Shattered Skies, things are going fairly well until Yellow Squadron shows up. Not only are they pretty much impossible to hit thanks to their crazy AI, but none of them take damage. Even later on, when their AI has been somewhat balanced, they're still invincible. Hitting them once ends the second encounter quickly and earns you some fairly surprised dialogue from your side and the enemies. Zeus. You know why it's so satisfying to beat the ever-living hell out of Zeus because Kratos transfers his powers into the Blade of Olympus to defeat the Colossus, which was a ruse by Zeus, who then came along and beat Kratos while he was weak. How'd that plan work out for you, Zeus? Porky Statue, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The zoo in Super Smash Bros. Brawl has a unique encounter in the form of the Porky Statue from Mother 3, AKA the Earthbound sequel the West has yet to receive. Due to its high HP pool, it simply can't be broken unless you use cheats or hack the game to reduce its overall health, that is. Feral Chaos, Secret Battle, Dissidia Duodecim Final Fantasy. In a rather hilarious twist for Dissidia Duodecim Final Fantasy, if you tell the Moogle at the beginning that you've mastered the game, you'll be transported to an overpowered version of Feral Chaos, the final boss with lightning at level one. Let it not be said that Square Enix doesn't know how to troll its fans. Unbeatable Dragon, Borderlands 2, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. Tiny Tina makes no bones about the fantastical nature of her Bunkers and Badasses campaign in Assault on Dragon Keep. However, things quickly go overboard when she summons an unbeatable dragon that immediately one-shots you. Thankfully, when Lilith expresses annoyance at this, Tina brings in a much easier boss. Gunther, First Battle, Deus Ex. At one point in the original Deus Ex, Gunther Herman will bring a small force to demand your surrender. His troops can still be fought even with their high difficulty, but Gunther himself takes no damage. There are various ways to outsmart Gunther, like trapping him in a train station and then surviving against his forces. However, the game won't acknowledge this and progresses to the next plot point as if you'd been captured anyway. Giant Pink Scorpion, Sirius Sam 3. Pirating video games is wrong, and Crow Team has no problem reminding you of this in Serious Sam 3. Whereas other games like Batman Arkham Asylum had the flying glitch that stopped your progress, Serious Sam 3 actually sends a large but fast pink scorpion to endlessly kill you if your copy is less than legit. Oh, and do we mention that it cannot be killed? We'd like to think this is similar to Genma Anamusha's Killer Doll, except with even less chance of actually progressing forward. Bax. Hand of Orcs, Destiny the Taken King. Bungie's Destiny the Taken King features a clever twist on the usual boss battles thrown at you. When playing the mission Lost to Light, you'll come across Bax, the Gravekeeper, an ogre guarding the remains of Crode's Crystal. Orcs the Taken King quickly takes Bax away and the mission seemingly ends. However, Bax returns as a Taken Ogre and takes no damage, thus prompting you to escape. Fly, you fools! Anubis, Zone of the Enders. Oh, Anubis. As Jehuti's other half, Anubis is just impossible to beat. Along with high damage output, Anubis teleports quickly, making it difficult to even hit him. The final battle is more about avoiding Anubis and waiting to be rescued before finally escaping. Even in Zone of the Enders, the second runner, Anubis is unbeatable in the beginning and still poses a challenge at the end, even with Jehuti's significant upgrades. Vile, 
first battle, Mega Man X. When Mega Man X first begins, our hero is fairly underpowered. He has no suit upgrades, boss powers, or even energy tanks. That being said, Vile the Mercenary still can't be beaten. He doles out a decent amount of damage, but just doesn't die. You can theoretically prevent yourself from being paralyzed and grabbed, but Vile will still only retreat when Zero arrives. King, initial phase, Mega Man and base. Also known as, wait, how is Proto Man still alive? He got sliced in half. King can't initially be harmed in Mega Man and base. The beginning of the boss fight involves you staying alive long enough for Proto Man to intervene. After pouring all of his energy into a single energy blast and destroying King's shield, can the boss fight commence in earnest. Kusabi, except Final Battle, Fatal Frame 2. The Kusabi don't mess around in Fatal Frame 2. You'll eventually defeat it in the final battle, but throughout the game, the Kusabi can instantly kill you. It also can't be stunned by the camera obscura or take any damage, and thus running is your only option. To top it off, there are other one-hit kill style bosses in later games. Oy vey. Jabberwock First Battle, American McGee's Alice The first battle with the Jabberwock is about surviving until the Griffin arrives in American McGee's Alice. Sounds relatively easy, but what's hilarious is how the next battle with the Fiend is much more difficult. You can actually fight back this time, or alternatively, you can stand around and die. It's not like the Jabberwock will have a tough time making this happen. Big Sister First Battle, Bioshock 2 If you thought Big Daddies were a nuisance, then wait till you meet the Big Sisters in Bioshock 2. The very first Big Sister you fight isn't invincible, but she will run away if her health gets too low. Alternatively, if she batters Delta, the protagonist, into submission, she'll still leave. Fights with the Big Sisters don't get any easier thanks to their quickness, distinct range of powerful abilities like telekinesis, and an oversized atom needle. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.